Hello guys, today I want to talk about loyalty, the death threats that many of um, my family and others have been experiencing lately, and two other words, incompetence and liability. Um, given the latest request from my attorney, um, that by the way, thank you for all that have contributed since I was able to make the first initial deposit for my attorney and including my wife. I want to um, be show my deepest gratitude, and God bless you all. Um, with respect to that, um, <clears throat> let's let's go into uh, the word loyalty. Ever since my grandmother and mother raised me, since I did not have a father worthy of being called the dad, I was always taught about loyalty and transparency. I want to talk about these for a few minutes. Um, all throughout my thirty-eight years of existence. I had an unbreakable sense of loyalty, even to those that did not merit it. Um, some that you would even think would never cross or screw you, I continued to remain loyal to them, while everyone else around me saw straight through their bullshit. What's funny is that, rare instances, you encounter scum like this on your path to greatness. It's these morals that never did be wrong that have allowed me to secure some strong friendships that would never be broken. Loyalty does not just revolve around your family or your friends, but if you're a business owner or CEO of a company, you should learn how to instill these qualities into your company. There are many employees around me who I have funded their weddings, purchased watches for their great work, great cars, or even helped fund the home of their dreams. Everyone in life is great at something. It's your job as a leader to help those around you flourish. This is why those that have worked with me or have been managed or partnered in any ventures with me knew to what extent I went to ensure that they thrived and excelled before I did. This leads to the words incompetence and liability. There is a saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. What I am trying to say is that unless you are delusional and do not think that you are the issue, a person needs to be humble and allow constructive criticism when required. I would say that 90% of all people I have fired in any of my companies were either delusional, lazy, incompetent, but most importantly, a liability. Many of the people that have spoken trash about me or try to slander my my qualities or who I am um, either did not like my business approach or the way in which I conducted business. But rest assured, like I said above, I've only fired you because you were either delusional, lazy, incompetent, or a liability. For example, if I was trying to run a clean gym you can't keep your dick in the pants, you're going to be gone. Why? Because you're a liability. <laughs> if you're in transitioned, if you have transitioned into every possible department in a company and you continue to fail miserably with endless amount of support around you, you will be let go because you're incompetent. <laughs> if you fly off the seat of your pants and can't wait till 4.59 p.m. to hit the ground running and leave um, your work, You'll soon escape because you're lazy and will not have a job for long. The reason for me speaking about this and my management methodologies is because those that are no longer around me or have had short stints throughout my career are either one or many of the above. It's funny how you see many that try to discredit me, threaten my family or friends just for us trying to reveal the truth. The sad reality is that those that follow your lies, deceit, or nonsense, it's only because they're usually a lot like you. You see criminals that continue to do the same crimes and act as victims or snitch on others that are doing good does not necessarily make you a man or more respectable. You will continue to be scum, trash, and someone that will always revert to their old ways. I do not regret my actions and decisions I've made throughout my life, 
However, one needs to make you aware that this world is not fun and rainbows. Take it from someone that has filed lawsuits with two major corporations for wrongful termination. That I have won those cases off court. Has had family, his very own family, steal from him. That while they were preaching in front of your face, love and transparency. One needs to be really selfish and understand that your family is what matters, nothing else. When shit hits the fan, they will be long gone. Trust me, this is coming from someone that has had many athletes on payroll, celebrities, and employees who I've supported. Also, I am the same person who after an accusation, and again, an accusation, not one, not one of those many that I've supported have called, supported, helped, or even asked how I was doing. Some of these people have had salaries ranging from 5 to 10K monthly. Housing paid, exotic cars, you name it, they've had it. This is why now I am going to just focus on rebuilding my empire after dealing with my case. And in due time, with the okay for my attorney, be the person in the health, fitness, bodybuilding industry revealing the truth amongst these liars who want nothing more but to eat you alive and throw you away like the trash that they perceive you to be once they make use of you. I know that I did post on my Instagram a picture of a father speaking to his son about being cautious where he walks and his son responding, you should be careful since I follow, uh, since I follow in your footsteps. Um, reason for that is because I want my son to never be fooled, um, to be inspired, to be loyal and transparent, but not fall for the delusion and deceitfulness that this world is really all about. Again, I want to thank you all for your donations and continued support while my family goes through this ordeal. While this journey is not short, I will continue to fight for not just myself and my family, but for every one of you, of you that are seeking, you know, that wants to seek the truth. Some of these people that I will be revealing, you currently admire, follow, or maybe even seek for mentorship. People are not always who they seem. Only let their consistency show their true character of this man or woman. I'm going to leave you guys out with two um, famous quotes. Action speaks louder than words, and we are creatures of habit. With that, I say goodbye. Until next video, do not be fooled by those around you. Also, as a, as a token of appreciation, please continue with those threat th uh, death threat calls and messages. Since it's obviously working, and you are just true examples of the idiots that do not want <laughs> things to be revealed, and are just scared if justice is actually served. Thank you all. Take care.